Hola. 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 Hello guys and welcome to our channel. We are Anna and Edward or two curly hats wondering. In this episode we will explore a lavishing green place called Pachamama Eco Park. The taxi ride from Santa Maria took us about 10 minutes and cost us 5 euros. The entrance fee for this amazing place was 5 euros as well. Pachamama Eco Park can be considered, if you like, a mini jungle, because Sal is one of the driest islands out of the 10 that compose Cape Verde. Being deserted for the entire surface and without too much vegetation around, this botanical garden has provided us a great shelter from the strong sun and has given us the opportunity to discover different species of birds and plants. We can describe it as a place for relaxation, tranquility, or just a getaway from the crowds, really. Hello, everybody. Hello. Oh, guys. <laughs> so, today we are at the Botanical Garden of the city, like I said before, because we needed just a bit of break from the sun. Yesterday, we've been to the beach and we took all the sun <laughs> and we burned actually our skin so today we are just hiding in the shade of the palm trees Pachamama Eco Park Pachamama Eco Park it's called it's really interesting and the owners just told them they just told us that uh, they have rescued some birds and I think a donkey they said from um, from or all from here are, uh, rescue animals. yeah rescue animals and all the, the plants island. all the plants are from all the islands <coughs> so yeah we are going to see how it looks like and now we are just enjoying some juice all made out of baobab uh, baobab tree you know the ones that are really really tall and usually I think you find them in Namibia Madagascar Madaga Madagascar, Madagascar. <laughs> It tastes really interesting very fresh. It's very fresh and it's a bit sour Sweet sour, no? But it's really nice A bit cold Refresco Refresco <laughs> So yeah Let's see what we'll discover here. We'll see you soon. soon. Our first stop was the cactus garden. And as you might know, cactuses are fascinating plants known for their ability to thrive in arid and desert environments. They are characterized by their unique adaptations such as succulent stems, spines and shallow root systems. These features help them conserve water in harsh conditions. In a corner, I have discovered this beautiful swinger and of course, what do you think, I couldn't resist to swing in it, bringing back childhood memories. What a great opportunity to see so many different shapes and sizes for cactus from tiny button like species to towering saguarus. Do you know the ones that are really tall? Plus there were a couple of species that they had flowers as well, which is quite remarkable because you don't really see this every day so it's a great place to come
We now prepare to meet the friendliest and the curious parrot ever. Such a beautiful bird and social. <laughs> of the garden together with their team have planted fruit trees and other plants in order to provide an adequate diet for their rescued animals and birds. As we have mentioned at the beginning of the vlog, all the animals and birds have been rescued from all the islands, creating them a place to enjoy life at its best. Well, Cape Verde doesn't have a wildlife abundant as in some other regions, or at least on land. But marine life is diverse around the islands with a variety of fish species and other marine creatures. Some of the surrounding waters are important for migrating whales and dolphins, making Cape Verde a destination for marine enthusiasts. I told you, good job! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Another great reason to come and visit Cape Verde is because Cape Verde is known as an important nesting site for sea turtles. The islands attract lodgehead turtles and occasionally green turtles for nesting. The nesting season typically occurs between June and October, with the peak months being July and August. Unfortunately for us, we've missed the timing and we weren't able to witness this amazing thing. But maybe we will return especially for that. If you think that you would like to witness the nesting and hatching of sea turtles, well, you have two options probably. You can go on Boa Vista or Sal Island to do that. And yes, it's a unique and incredible experience to observe these ancient creatures in their natural habitat. Now returning to Pachamama Eco Park, here you will find two donkeys, very very friendly as you can see. It's a boy and a girl, the white one is the boy and shorty we see the, the girl as well, which I believe she's going to be a baby mama soon. And here he comes the baby mama. I hope you haven't missed that white head that popped through the window yet. If yes, just go back. They were around 10 horses and for small groups you can have 
like a horse riding experience for about 25 euros I just love this little fellow, <laughs> isn't it so friendly? And yes, you might say, yes, but it's in a cage. Well, I saw a monkey in Santa Maria kept as a personal pet and I didn't like it. So I would prefer to be in a cage than to be someone's pet. At least here they get medical attention, which is really, really important for a long and healthy life. The goats are super friendly and super funny as well and Eddie has played actually seek and hide with one of them so it's super cool It's a baby. It's a baby we call it here. Yeah, it's a baby with curly hair. Hello, guys, again. I forgot to say a big thank you to uh, our, sponsors. our sponsors. So let's have a few minutes to, <laughs> to say thank you to our sponsors. Not a few minutes, they are not too many. <laughs> Thank you, Edward. Thank you, Ana Maria. Let's move. <laughs> this is the end of our episode at Pachamama Eco Park. If you liked it, please subscribe to our channel and see you in the next one. Take care.